What is up YouTube? My name is James and I'm bringing you guys a brand new video here today. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the color labels, the rating system, as well as keywords inside of Lightroom. So, this is something I only started using very, very recently in the past month or so actually. And I'm excited to share what I've learned with you guys. The rating system with Lightroom is simply using five stars to rate your pictures. The color label system is pretty much where you can label your pictures with one of four colors. And the keyword system is where you can search for pictures based on the keyword. So I'm going to show you guys how to use this to keep yourself more organized and keep your workflow productivity to its highest inside of Lightroom. Anyway, let's get straight into this video guys. This is my third video in my Lightroom series. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And lastly guys, my name is James. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Okay guys, so here we are in Lightroom, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the color labels, the rating system, as well as keywords. So, right here we have our 19 photos. Frankly, sadly, they are JPEGs, but nonetheless, they are photos. These are actually photos that I took with the Sony A7R 3 at Adorama. I have the raw files, but my software stuff is out of date, so the raw files are no longer, or, or well, just aren't supported by Lightroom or the uh, DNG converter that I have, I have to update my software first. So we have the JPEGs here, no big deal, it's oh, completely okay. So we have our photos imported here in our previous import uh, like spot right there, that little folder. What we're gonna do here is click Command A, select all the pictures, and we're gonna put them into our new, into our little collection set over here, and put it into all. Now real quick, we're just gonna rename our collection set. Uh, we're just gonna make it, um, we're just going to name it Sony A7R II Test. Just like that. A7R3 Test. And so now we have all right here. And I'm going to show you guys how to go through and select what photos you want to rate them as. So we're going to go right along here. Okay, guys. So here we have our first photo and we're ready to start labeling. So we have two options here. We have our five star labels and our color labels so to give something a star rating you have to do is you have to press number one through five on your keyboard while in the library setting so under the library module the tab you have to press one two three four or five to give it that rating and it will appear right below the picture right there now if you want to give it want to reset the rating you just press zero and it will have no rating anymore now with color labels, you can either press you press um, six for red, seven for yellow, eight for green, nine for blue, and you'll see the color right here. If you look at it right there, you can see the slight outline of blue, just like that. What we're going to be doing is rating each picture based on the qual its quality with stars. Then when we have our stars picture pictures with rated with stars, we're going to go in and decide which ones we want to edit more into Photoshop and the ones that are already done and ready to be exported and don't need any Photoshop work. So let's go into this right here and start labeling. So this one I'm going to hit number one for one star because the temperature is really bad. This one's also going to be one star because the exposure is very overexposed. Overexposed again. Slightly overexposed and out of focus as well. So we're going to put that, make that a one. Here we have a in focus picture, really, really in focus. Like this is like super nice quality. Like this, this camera with this lighting is actually insane. Like if you see that, like that detail is insane. Like look at this. That's crazy, in my opinion. I just love it. This camera is so good. But we're here. We're going to label this one four stars because the quality is outstanding. Next, this one is slightly out of focus, so we're going to make it three stars next one right here this one's in focus and he's laughing it's endearing four stars here just a great portrait honestly except for his arms being cut off we'll bake this one five stars because I think it's the best one right here same thing again just his arms are slightly down a little bit um, I actually like the framing of this one so we're gonna make this one four stars and go back to this one and make it five um, now here we have this one. It looks like it's maybe be slightly out of focus. I'm not sure. Let's go in there and look. Really zoom into his eye and let it load. Let's see. 
Nope, it's perfectly in focus. We'll name this one four stars. Now we have these ones here. This one was actually taken with the wrong backdrop, so one star. Well, two stars, actually, because it looks doesn't look that bad. This one right here, crazy. Outstanding quality. If we zoom in to his eyes, like, that's crazy. Look at this detail. Absolutely incredible. Five stars for this one. Right here, this one, the framing's kind of off. The composition's bad. Four stars. Um, this one, it's um, it's okay. I mean, the focus isn't perfect, so we're going to make this one at around three stars. Um, this one, three stars, slightly out of focus. This one is looks to be in focus on his beard, but not by his eyes, which is not good. So we're going to make this one, I think, four star, uh, three stars as well. This one is completely in focus, but uh, his hands are his hands bright here, and he's kind of dark back here, which I don't like. So we'll make it four stars. This one's cool, but you see the, the reflector here as well as the backdrop. So we're gonna make this one three stars as well. And then this one, the backdrop's very very slightly cut off, which we can fix. And he's in focus, and everything's good. We're gonna make it four stars. So we have all of our ratings right here. I went through. I showed you guys why I was giving those stars. Those ratings for each one. So now we're gonna go into um, we're gonna actually filter all the pictures into their star ratings. So um, to see everything with a three star rating, I'm gonna press this button right here, the three stars. And if you want to make it so that it's either greater than or equal to, so it's gonna show everything with three stars or more. You can make it so that it shows everything with three stars or less, or everything that has just three stars. We're going to do everything that's greater than or equal to. Because we want to see everything with 3 stars, 4 stars, and 5 stars. Actually, we really want to see everything with 4 stars and above. That's what we really want. Because these are the ones where, if I was going to edit them, these are the ones I would edit. So, we have all these pictures here. And so, in my opinion, I don't necessarily go into the bad pictures. The, the ones that aren't perfect. And go into them with Photoshop. But obviously, I go in with Lightroom and do some basic editing. But I wouldn't go in and start using clone stamping tools and spot removal and the patch tool, all that stuff like that on a photo that isn't perfect. So what we're going to do here is we're going to label this one a 9, which is blue. That's my symbol for this photo is finished. It's ready to be exported. We're done with it. Now we have this photo here. I actually, I actually like this a lot more. I'm making it five stars. This is when I would go in and I would do some retouching. So, for example, if we zoom out a little bit here, his hairs right here, they're hanging out a little bit. I would take those out. Um, I see some spots on his head, like up here, that I would fix. Um, this little, like, saliva thing right here, I would go in there and fix that. So, that's just an example of some things that I would go in and fix, given the opportunity. So, we're going to make that a 6 label it red showing that I want to go in Photoshop and edit this here we're gonna make this one um, a blue because I'm not gonna go into Photoshop and edit it but this one I am so we're gonna label it a six red and now we're gonna make this one a blue because it's four this one I would go into because I also want to lower the exposure a little bit because it is a little bright but the picture is there and it's good so six here nine nine and nine saying I'm not going into Photoshop for any of them, they're ready to go. So now that I have these three pictures ready to go, they're all um, going to Photoshop, I would put, well first of all, I'm going to put all of them into the edited folder, because I'm going to be editing all of these pictures, even if it's just a little bit. And let's say now we have these three pictures that I'm going to be using for Instagram, let's say I already edited them, they're all done with Photoshop, I would put these three ones, because they're my favorites, in the Instagram folder because I possibly want to upload them to Instagram as well as my portfolio folder because I may want to use them in my portfolio and then let's say the client wanted let's say they wanted this picture right here um, the good portrait the laughing one and let's say they wanted this one right here I'd put all of these ones in the client folder just like that to show it, okay, these ones I'm going to export and give to my client, the one I'm working for. If you don't have a client, then you don't need that folder, the collection. But if you do, you have it. And also, guys, when you also have um, it all up here, you can also rate them by color as well. So if I want to show all the blue ones that are ready to be done, you just show it by blue. Four stars or higher, 
and blue rating. If you want to see red, I just click red and unclick the blue and I see all the red pictures just like that. And you can customize by color as well. So now we are in our still in our library module, we can go to our keywording. So right now what we're going to do is get onto a picture. Let's go to our cool portrait here of this guy I, that I really, really like. We're going to go to our keywords right here under our keyword tab, and we're going to start entering in some keywords. So here we can name this portrait um, male because he's a man. We can name this black backdrop. We can name this um, pro uh, pro photo because we use a fro pro photo strobe. We can also put strobe because we use a strobe lighting for this photo. We can label it Sony because we use Sony. We can label it A7R III because we use an A7R three. We can say um, we can say um, I don't know. You can honestly put anything you want. If this was like a street shot, we put street. All that stuff like that. You guys how I guess how, get how it works. And now, if you want to search up a certain picture with a certain uh, keyword, you just search that keyword. Um, let's say mail, and our mail comes up, and it's right here. So that's really quick how you can use your keyword list. And so now we have all of our pictures rated with colors and star ratings, as well as keywords. And so now we can are organized, ready to go, and we are ready to look for these pictures and be very very organized in finding which ones we want and which ones we used and all that and i think it's going to help you guys a lot in your productivity and workflow in lightroom so if you guys enjoyed please be sure to have a like comment and subscribe and let's see guys my name is james i'll see you guys in the next video peace